Hello everybody, this is Pastor Julius. I'm so happy to have you back dito po sa ating uh, vlog channel na Straight Talk. I am praying that uh, today God will bless you, that God will give you wisdom, He will give you joy through the day, and that He will order your steps and guide you in every decisions or choices that you will need to make today. I'd like to start again our discussion uh, with a question. Why are you trying so hard? Or why are we trying so hard? Maybe you'd ask, there's nothing wrong with trying so hard. Well, you are right, there's nothing wrong with trying so hard. The only problem is this, when we try so hard and we no longer trust God, it becomes a problem. Trusting God is far more important than trying so hard. Why do we try so hard? We try to fix things on our own. Hindi po ba gusto natin gumawa ng solusyon o ng paraan? Gusto natin sulbahin lahat ng problema kahit hindi sa atin. So, pag tayo po, once, once we start to solve problems, or to fix things on our own, we are no longer trusting God. We trust our own wisdom. We trust our experience. We trust our, our position, our knowledge, our uh, abilities, our education. So that is what we trust. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Ang importante lang po ay that ang ating pong tiwala at ang ating pong sa lahat ng ating ginagawa, ang nangingiral po sa atin ay ang salita ng Panginoon Diyos. The Bible says that we should not lean on our own understanding. That is very true. Or maybe you say, Pastor naman, ang takal ko na naranig yung verse na yan, do not lean on your own understanding but in always acknowledge God. Matagal ko na naranig yan. That's true. Ako rin, matagal ko nang binabasa yan. Matagal na nating naranig. Ang tanong ay, isinasagawa ba natin sa buhay natin? You see, every time we go back to scripture, whether you've read a scripture a thousand or a million times, the beauty is this, God always reveals new, greater dimensions of His Word. God will show us so many things that we do not know. We will know more about Him as we go back to these scriptures. Katulad po ng sinasabi ko sa inyo, na huwag tayong manalig at magtiwala sa ating sarili. We trust ourselves. Worse, we trust people. You know, mas malaki pa yung ating tiwala sa tao minsan kaysa sa Panginoon Diyos. Uh, there are people who have very strong influence sa ating buhay. Uh, sila po ang ating tinatakbuhan sa ating mga a tanong o mga problema and there's nothing wrong with that they are they are friends na maganda po ang layunin because they care for you and for me but when god is left out of the equation it becomes a problem god wants us to involve him in every aspect of our lives so we don't need to fix things by ourselves we don't need to be fixers of our own troubles and our worries but we have to trust and to lean on God's word and the power of his word. We have to trust him. Not only trust him, but trust him kung ano po yung resulta na gusto niyang gawin sa ating buhay. We trust God with the results that he wants to accomplish in our lives, whether it makes us happy or not. Trusting God means surrendering, as I said earlier, uh, that we have to give up our lives to Him. Our decisions, our choices, we give it to Him and let Him lead us. Kasi po pag si Lord ang kasama sa ating mga ginagawa, sigurado po, we will succeed. I'm not saying that success is just going to happen today. God will answer our prayers. God will bring us, bring to pass uh, yung ating mga inihiling according to His timing. May timing po yan. Ang dapat lang po natin gawin ay magtiwala sa Kanya. At 
Huwag po tayong manalig sa ating sarili sapagkat pag nanalig na po tayo sa ating sarili, at the end of the day, you know already what will happen. I've been through that myself. Uh, God has shown me so many ways. Uh, in so many ways, God has shown me uh, my, my shortcomings. Uh, I made wrong choices in my life as well. May mga kapalpakan din si pastor na ginawa. It's not because I'm a pastor that all my choices are good and are right. Uh, I made many foolish decisions in my life as well. But thank God that we can go to Him because He is always willing and able to give us peace and to give us wisdom and to show us what is best for us. So, don't try to fix things. Tayo po kasi mga fixers tayo kahit hindi po natin problema gusto natin ayusin. Kaya tayo tuloy nagkakaproblema. So, pagkat nakikialam tayo sa mga may problema and there's nothing wrong with that. Pero pag tayo po inakialam na sa mga problema ng ibang tao, ang kailangan po natin ay wisdom. And we, you know, sometimes we, we hear counsel or, or, or advice from people. That's good. But ako po, I do not give counsel to people just because I think I know the answer. As I always say, I do not know the answer. But I pray. I pray for everything that I will uh, do in, in counseling people or giving them some sort of advice. I do not want to give advices that come from my mind because my mind, this mind, I cannot trust. I can only trust the mind of Christ. I can only trust the mind of God because He is the source of all wisdom. So don't you ever try to please people or to, to try to please yourself. But we need to please God. You see, it's very dangerous for us to become people pleasers because once we start pleasing people, you know already the answer. People are hard to please. At tayo naman, we try so hard to please people and it is not happening. All we need to do is to please God. If we please God, we will be acceptable before the eyes of all. But most of all, we need to be acceptable before His eyes. So I encourage you today, don't try to fix things. Are you a businessman? Don't fix your worries and your troubles by yourself. You will never be able to find success on your own. You need to trust God. You who are working or, or employees, you need to trust God to give you wisdom in all the things that you're doing. Trust Him. And He will grant you understanding and wisdom. He will show you His ways. And if He show you His ways, I tell you, you cannot go wrong. You're on your way to a promotion. You're on your way to success. You're on your way to the victories of your life if you trust God. So I encourage you today, don't lean on your own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all that you do. Involve God in all that you do. Sama mo siya. God, sama ka rito sa aking plano. Pagkasama si God sa plano natin, how can we go wrong? That's okay kung mayroon tayong isasama mga partner or mga kaibigan. That's okay. Pero kailangan una kasama natin si God, si Lord. Because if Lord God is with us, we can go wrong. Who can be against you if God is with you? Who can be against us if God is with us? Nobody can be against us. Lean not on your understanding. Don't try to fix things on your own. But in always acknowledge Him. I ask God to give you strength and to give you the heart to receive what I'm saying in the spirit of love. I speak this in the spirit of love. That you let go of that spirit of control. That you let go of that spirit of, of uh, uh, self-centeredness and self-sufficiency. But I pray that you be filled with the Spirit of God who will guide you and lead you in all the things that you do. And He will bless you with things that you can never imagine. So I pray that today 
in all the things that you do, you acknowledge God and make him part of all that you do. May God bless you. And may God continue to embrace you with his unfailing love, his grace and his mercy. God bless you all.